What's up LV viewers and welcome back to Monsters Immortals. Instead of looking at any characters or maps and modes and such, we are actually looking at a very heavily requested feature and that is dedicated servers. In the Monsters Immortals one year showcase that Glowstick put out, they said that servers were coming. They held a beta about a week ago which I did take part in. I didn't record on it because I, didn't, I just couldn't find the time, I was busy working on this thing. We finally have servers in the main game alongside a lot of other changes that I'll be covering as we play, but we're just gonna click on world play and see what the game throws us into. Stranger Sewers Soul Collection is our first mode and you could see 6 out of 6. That is the size of lobbies now. Lobbies can now contain 6 people. And that is absolutely insane. So looking at the characters we have so far, uh, out of all the mortals, um, Heather got a rework, Ryan got a bit um, changed, but I think Nixon is who we're going to go with because he also did get a change. Instead of stealing shards all across the map, he instead just takes shards in a 20 meter radius. And you can see that that match start time is already like almost up. Another thing we're going to be looking at with today's video is the new lighting changes to four out of the six playable maps. This room used to look a lot more red and now has a bit more of an orange filter going on and even just certain areas of the sewers generally just look a lot closer to they do in the base game now with Dark Deception Enhanced. Like for example, let's try to head down to one of those big rooms. Oh yeah, and yep, you can see there's definitely more players in this session, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Six players makes the game feel a lot more fresh and chaotic, and just adds a really fun element to it all. I also am playing in world play for this specific video, because mostly to test out the dedicated servers. Uh, yeah, you can see that this room is definitely different, a lot more light coming down from above, and it just makes the maps feel a lot more fresh, especially uh, some of the others. Ex Deadly Decadence is the one I'm excited to show you guys most. The only two maps that didn't really get a rework in terms of lighting is um, Monkey Business and Monstrum. So if we happen to pull those in world play, uh, I won't play those for the video. I don't really care about what modes we get or what characters we have to play. There's a bunch of characters I am still, I do want to try out to show you how they have changed since the first time I played them on the channel. Uh, for example, once we get a new shard wave up, I will demonstrate how Nixon works. And this is a bug that I think is going around. You will see the absolute amount of shard packs we get for 10 shards. It is ridiculous the amount we get. It's- yeah see, we, we just keep getting shard packs and it's honestly hilarious. Oh, Malik's coming in to collect one of us. Hopefully it's not me. I know I'm not first, but hopefully I'm not last. There's six of us. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is... We're going to use our ult in here. Look at the map. We collect shards within a radius, and that goes up to a maximum of 30. And I'm going to be honest, man, they over-nerfed Nixon. That is a very... That's very different to how his ult used to work. It didn't matter where the shards were, like, on the map. He would just collect them. And there wasn't even a limit then. But I'm going to be honest, I think they over-nerfed him. Oh, there's a monkey down there. So yeah, one of us is a monkey. I didn't quite see who it was. Uh... Let's go back in this room. Oh, no, we're not going in there. One of the main reasons I was looking so forward to seeing servers in the game is because I'm sure that, you know, if you're a Monsters Immortals player watching this video right now, you are fully aware of how laggy matches can get in world play, and even with other people if they're not hosting properly. And that was because the game was working on a peer-to-peer -peer system, or in layman terms, there were no servers. With peer-to-peer, -peer, how it worked before, if one person, if the person hosting the game was lagging, everyone else would lag and just not have a very fun time. Now, if you're lagging, that doesn't affect everyone else. Everyone's having like their own experience and their own connection to the lobby. Servers also just make the game uh, more enjoyable uh, for the combat because it is now a lot easier to hit people. It's more consistent and that just makes it a lot better. He's coming after me, guys. Help. He's ulting. Hey, got him. Shoot, 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 shoot. Don't do it, don't do it, man. 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 In terms of the new lighting for this map, I really like it. I think it looks great. Um, not a fan of the big room, though. That's, like, my one grievance. It's a little too bright and saturated. Like, just look at that. It doesn't look very realistic. This would probably be a better room to use one's ult in. Oh, you're, you're ulting, speaking of ulting. 
Uh, ooh. I stood no chance. Oh, a shard leader. Okay, okay. Oh shoot. No, 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 Bunk, 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 bunk. Oh god, there's two. Yeah, there's two. Okay. Uh, this isn't very good. Uh, one heavy attack and I'm screwed. Dang it. I don't like being corrupted. No. They sliced and diced me. Gotta focus on shards. Malak even might be coming after us because he's out right now. Yeah, yeah, he is. Hey, hey, buddy. Oh, that was the last target. Yeah, we got second because someone left. But yeah, so Soul Collection is definitely a lot more fun with six characters. This is the mode that probably benefits the most from it. I'm hoping we get the other two modes because those also come with their own noteworthy discussion points about how they work in the six player format. Grab our shards, even though that's not going to increment the bar anymore. And we're already right back into another session. Six out of six, we're already here. Silent Sacrifice Soul Collection. Uh... It's one of the other reasons I don't like world play for recording videos. It's really hard sometimes to get like the exact like map or mode you want. Yeah, I do want to give a big thank you to Glowstick's new programmer, Simon. He has really um, put a lot of weight these past few weeks with pumping out dedicated servers and fixing a lot of the bugs that the community has wanted to get fixed for a while, and even just um, you know prompting a lot of rebalancing. While some people aren't exactly the biggest fan of some of the new rebalancing, I'm glad that it's a we're at least getting it addressed. Elementary Evil Shard Mayhem, that's incredible. S someone left. Yeah, I could definitely say that after the showcase, and now that this game has a new programmer, the future for Monsters Immortals is looking incredibly bright, and I'm definitely excited to be on the ride and document it, whatever happens next year. Shard Mayhem, so we get to go Monster. I'm trying to think of who's changed the most here since we've last played them. Uh... Agatha got a little bit of... Actually, I might go Agatha. I don't play Agatha much for videos, but that's kind of because she's been OP. But with this last update, she actually got a bit of a nerf. And... Oh, match already starts in 10 seconds. That's... That's very fast. Uh... Yeah, I think we'll go Agatha. We haven't played Agatha in forever. Actually, I don't think I ever showed how Fiend worked. Yeah, we're gonna go Fiend. Since the last time I... I think the last time I played this guy was honestly, um... When Monstrum DLC came out, I was just feel like going Fiend. But you can tell right off the bat that the school is uh, a bit brighter uh, with its new lighting. Uh, for example, let me bring us to the auditorium where we could see this. Uh, auditorium is one of the more different rooms. It's definitely a lot brighter. Doesn't look much like enhanced, but hey, it's something different, and I like it. Oh, that is a bug. What? Lucky just running around without any animations. It's probably the scariest thing in this game. Here we are in the playground. Uh, definitely a lot brighter. Oh, okay, let's assault the child. Uh, okay, me and the pig can assault the child. Aha! Uh, let's attack you too. He's probably gonna get an... Ooh, oh. No, I got him, got him. Alright. I was worried because a common hangry strat is to lower someone to low enough and then just hold them because that does an immediate 120 damage. But we are fine. Yeah, Shard Mayhem with six players is ridiculously fun now. It was fun before, um, but now it's just even more insane, and it can get stupid enjoyable. There's a lot more items flying around. See, we, we just got double slowed, because there's more people on the field and there's more boxes being picked up. We got this now. So, ooh, okay, let's, let's pull a dirty trick. We're gonna warp someone into this portal. Oh, they died. I, I just looked at the kill feed. I, I was like, no, no one teleported, but now apparently uh, someone did. It was the Agatha, which was probably the character we wanted to die the most. So initially with the launch of the Monstrum DLC, Fiend's ult would teleport people to him and stun them, which was incredibly unfair. Now he teleports two people to him without the stun, but he deals 10% damage and inflicts the fear side effect on the opponents, which honestly makes sense. But that is Shard Mayhem with six players, and that's Elemental Evil with the new lighting. Uh, that was definitely an enjoyable game. Didn't get to quite show how Fiend changed, but hey, I at least explained it. Hopefully that satisfies you for the two people who didn't know how Fiend worked. Let's click on the button again and see what we're thrown into. One out of six, that's just no fun. Three out of six, okay, it's climbing, it's climbing. We're getting players. 
And now we play the waiting game again. Hopefully we can get into a session. Uh, I would love to get a maze escape because that's the one mode we actually haven't done yet for this video. And maze escape definitely has the most changes out of all the modes in this update. So I really want to get on that. Uh, you know what? This, this isn't working out. This is just taking a while to even find a game, and even when we do, it's nowhere near what we want. So I'm gonna go drop a message in my server just to gauge interest. Awesome, we have we have five people. These five people are absolute legends. Uh, let's... Okay, we got two out of six. Come on. Three out of six, four out of six. Five out of six. We just need one more. We just need one more. Six out of six. Perfect. Deadly Decadence Maze Escape. Let's go. Because God knows I wasn't gonna get this in world play. Uh, mortal, that's completely fine. So with Maze Escape, there's actually a variety of stuff that's different. Um, the shard count is increased, but the way that it works with six players is that we have four mortals. Hey, Titan Watcher. We have four mortals and two monsters. Monsters don't know where we are, though. They lost that ability in the recent update. Um, okay, so, oh, we got a Penny and a Lucky. We are playing Mascot Mayhem Zone 1, everyone. Oh god. But yeah, Deadly Decadence definitely got the biggest change in terms of lighting, and I love the new look of it all. It looks really good. Pyro Cease, go go kill him, Joy Joy Lucky. Uh, hey, Angie. But yeah, I, I don't know why I went into world play. I guess I wanted to do it because uh, one of the issues with doing world play for videos is because, you know, sometimes I can get really laggy sessions. If I did private ones, I could control how sessions were. But yeah, I kind of just forgot the other issue with doing roleplay for videos is that it could take forever to even get the type of match you want. And firm play just solves both of those issues flawlessly, and it's just more fun because it's with people I actually know. This kind of hard to see on me. I'll try to... Yeah, let me show how Bendy looks. Yeah, so the new glitch effect for Daco that also came recently. Gonna be honest, I prefer the old one, but eh, it still looks cool. Hello, Rory. Uh, I'm not going towards that. You see, guys, that is Fattest Engine. He is, uh, just a good gamer all around, and he's gonna- Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Rory! You just saved me from almost certain death, because NG would have wiped the floor with me. If you're watching this, NG, hi. Shoot, we're all, like, around here. Yep, so this is Maze Escape with two monsters and four mortals. I am dead. I am dead. A lot of people are very mixed with the new Maze Escape. I'm warming up to it. There's a lot of potential with this. I wish it didn't replace Maze Escape altogether. I wish this was just a separate mode with, like, a different end goal. Maybe, like, just two teams and you, whatever team can collect the most shards. Oh god. I'm gonna get egged. Oh, you're, you're low. You are really low. Uh... Gotcha. I haven't actually looked at our team. We have Dacos, we have a Sybil, of course Vince and a Heather. That's pretty good, actually. We we cover like all the bases. We just have two powers, which might not be entirely fair. But just those eggs are really hard to hit. I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. Portals open, and here is the thing with Maze Escape now. There are two portals. And... This is a very controversial addition. I think I'm the only one that didn't get out, so that kind of concerns me. But there are two escape portals, so that makes camping a bit less of a concern. Oh, they're both over there. If they have a primal fear, I'm done for. Oh, Joy Joy didn't get out either. Okay, I'm not alone. I, I think I could just rush it. I think I could- No, no! Why was I slowed and why was this- Why was there an axe in my way? Come on, Joy Joy. You got this. Okay, it's final wave. It's final wave. Come on. You got this. You got this. Shoot that rabbit. It might honestly be better just to head for the second portal. Because if Angie's going to stay glued to that one. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do this. We can do this. I think we, I think we won. I think we won. We just got to get there. Because no way. Unless unless Pyro has like a problem. No, we got this. Let's go. That kind of demonstrates why two portals can be a mixed bag. But hey, we won. And the result screen looks drastically different with the two sides, which I like. It looks pretty cool and fresh. But we're not done today. We still got one more game to go. And oh boy, is it gonna be a doozy. Alright, I was gonna do a Silent Maze, but the people in my server have convinced me to not be a psychopath, so I'm going to do Silent Sacrifice Shard Mayhem. Brew actually got a bit of a nerf this update, so I, I'm actually kind of interested in trying out him. God, I just want to say a massive thanks to everyone in my server who's playing with me right now. This makes recording Monsters and Mortals videos so much easier, and it's just so much better. Thank you so much.
So this map is one of the ones that greatly changed. Uh, hey, Jelly Bean, get over here. Uh, it looks a lot more moody, and the lighting is a lot more in line with Silent Hill. Air Screamer, I don't know what you're doing. I, 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 I don't know what this Air Screamer is doing. This session, this session right here, I think, is a bit bugged. Some of the AI is not working. See, that Air Screamer is attacking nothing as well. I can't complain. It makes them a bit easier to handle. But, okay. On Maze Escape, this map's shard count has been decreased to 750. So that makes the map a lot more bearable to play in Maze Escape. Um, however, Red Pyramid thing, as I'm sure we'll encounter him. I was scared that Papa was summoning him for a second. As I'm sure we will spawn him, Red Pyramid thing didn't really get any adjustments recently. He's still the same old annoying little brat thing. Hiya! Why am I not hitting you? God, Brute's hitboxes still aren't the greatest. Can I not hit you? How close do you have to be to my punch for me to land it? You're gonna kill me. Monsters Immortals, everyone. Described in one short encounter. Long line of shards. And then the line is right back there. I'm thankful that Glowstick has confirmed that this is the largest map they can ever make because, my god, I do not want anything bigger than this. What are you even doing? What are you doing, man? I have a primal fear that I really want to use on someone. Maybe you... Decimate him. Burn him. Burn him. Burn. There we go. And then... Ooh, can we hit the nurse too? Nah, she got a speed boost. Still, I, I think we would have just been short. Wait, what? Pugs, am I right, everybody? Well, that's why I couldn't hit Joy Joy Lucky earlier. He's glitched. No matter. I'll just avoid him and focus on my own shard pursuits. We have a lot of a lot of them. Could maybe take this Lucky. Nah, better to focus on shards. Our health isn't the greatest, and if he ults us, I think he would actually have the upper hand. Ooh, boss time. I mean, we only have 15 seconds left. We have a shield for fun. Might as well just pop off the shield now, because it'll last the rest of the game. Collect this last little bit of shards. Oh, hello. Our Red Pyramid thing was about to get on us, but thankfully that didn't happen. 713! Dear God! And five kills. Dang, Vendy, you went... You took this round seriously. Well, those were some great games. Again, I do want to say thank you for the people on my server who were able to attend and play. But that is it for today's video. Uh, dedicated servers, they're a lot of fun. I'm really happy to have them. Nice to have some rebalancing too. Things that have been on our minds for some a year, like Agatha and Ducky. I'm glad to see that type of stuff finally get addressed. We even have Crazy Carnival and Mama Bear and Trigger Teddy coming out very soon, which is going to be a lot of fun. I've seen the boss of that level. I don't want to show it here in case you don't want to see it. If you want to go see whatever the Crazy Carnival boss is, it's very easy to find online, but that thing is definitely creepy, and we'll be checking that out next time. But uh, that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.